Welcome back. It's time for ice cream, but not the kind that you go to buy at the store. Chemical Kim is here to show us how to make liquid nitrogen ice cream. Oh my god. Welcome gosh. to this. It's like a haunted house in here. I'm pulling this right. all day. We're well. going to exactly. We're going to have so much fun, Stephanie. This is so fun. Um, very dangerous, of course, and that's why you and I, being the chemists, we can yes. do this and demonstrate this Put to my the audience. Safety glasses on. Um, but one really important demonstration I want to show the audience and show kids is this product that lots and lots of kids like, which Those is Dippin' Dot. Dippin' Dots, yes. exactly. And I just made these just before the show, and I can show. We're going to demonstrate how that process is um, undertaken with okay. making Dippin' Dots. But first, negative 198.5 degrees. Celsius, which is about around negative, negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit for liquid nitrogen's boiling point. <laughs> oh my gosh! It like that is cool. totally takes over the studio, Our whole doesn't studio. it? I love doesn't it. It's so, so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that is just pouring it in some hot water. Um, but liquid nitrogen wants to be a gas in our atmosphere, but if we condense it down into the liquid form, it does look just like water. And the bubbling you see is it boiling. Okay. That's okay. Good. And it's definitely something that is not for, you know, kids to readily have available to them. But it's a neat science demonstration, and it can hopefully give them an appreciation of the gas that's in our atmosphere, which is nitrogen. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to make some ice cream, which is fun. And of course, the main ingredients of ice cream is cream, sugar, and a little vanilla flavoring. Okay. And so what I do, my proportions is about. You know, half a cup cream to a quarter cup sugar to about a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're, Perfect. So we're going to add that, okay. go ahead into the bowl. And then I'll add the sugar, and you can use the wooden spoon. And actually, I'm going to transfer this okay. into this bowl. The big bowl now? The, the steel bowl, okay. And you're going to mix it up in there, okay? Wait, you forgot a lot of sugar. We don't want to forget all oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great that sugar. Wait a minute. Don't forget the sugar. That's the best Great part. Great that sugar. And then what you're going to do is mix that really, really well, okay? Give it a good mix. And then I'm going to add the liquid nitrogen into this to do what? To make the Dippin' Dot things. Actually, this is, won't be the Dippin' Dot. <laughs> this is just going to be regular ice cream, Stephanie. It's going to freeze it, right? It's going to freeze it, exactly. So because the main, you know, the main liquid in there is water, and this for sure will bring this down below the freezing point of water. Go ahead and mix that. Oh. And what do you observe? What do you observe in, the, in, in that process uh, and as you mix that? Nothing, because I can't see anything because there's a big cloud right here. Watch this. <laughs> But as you feel it, what do you observe oh, in your feelings? It's, uh, it's, oh, it's freezing instantly. It's, isn't, that, isn't that amazing that how fast that freezes? That is crazy. Look how fast that it's freezing. That freezes so, so quickly. And that, of course, it's is already because, frozen. Exactly, because of the liquid nitrogen. Now, it's still cream-like, so I'm going to just add a little bit more. I'm going to have you step back just for a second. Okay. Um, it instantly does turn to a gas as, as you pour it onto a, a non-porous surface. It does go into the gaseous state. It looks like it disappears. Okay, but in the liquid, of course, it's going wow. to cool down the liquid. And look at those are running across the little things. Yes, those are, that's water. Okay? Oh, those my Those are gosh. little beads of, as it solidifies, wow, that's condenses so cool. water in the atmosphere. So it's really, oh, really fun. It's our, it's, now look at that. It's, look at that. Look at that. It's already frozen. You just made ice cream. Oh. Really, really good stuff. And you can, you know, add you know, flavoring and such. I, whenever I make liquid, ice, liquid nitrogen ice cream at home, because, you know, I have a readily available quantity of liquid <laughs> yes, nitrogen. Yes, you do. <laughs> in my kitchen. No, you know, I would add, like, the fruit at the end um, as to not let it get damaged by the liquid nitrogen in the process. So that is fun. Look at that. We have a nice sample of ice cream. Now, but, we have about 30 yes. seconds. Oh, my gosh. So the fun you got to tell me really dip fast. Dip and dust, dip and dust, dip and dust. Okay. Otherwise, producer Denise will okay. tase me when we Grab, get off the air. Grab the um, flavorings there. Okay. What that is is melted ice cream. This right here. Yep. Oh, okay. And then this is so fun. This is so fun. You're going to squeeze up the liquefied ice, ice cream and then just dropper amounts. And that's it? That's, oh that's Dippin' Dots. And this was actually the process of how <laughs> Dippin' Dots was made. Just by, watch this. Look at this. You just made your own Dippin' Dot ice cream. <laughs> These is are that awesome. not fun? That and is it cool. really is just how a biochemist came about Where do you get making liquid nitrogen? dips and dots. I get it from an air supply company, um, but because I am a chemist and I do teach science, um, it allows me to wow. very safely and very readily have access wow. to that liquid nitrogen. All right. Well, thank you for showing these. This was probably one of the coolest experiments I've ever seen you do. You can find more science experiments from Chemical Kim on our website, WZZM13.com, on the Take 5 homepage.